He's the Weasley that we don't see much of in the movies. In fact, it's just one scene that Charlie Weasley appears in and that's during the Chamber of Secrets when he's featured in the background of a photo of the Weasley family during their trip to Egypt. Other than that, he's basically non-existent in the on-screen adaption of the book. So it's to the book we go in order to strip out the details on the second born Weasley child. So let's take a look at his story and let's take a look at the life of Charlie Weasley. Charlie was born on December 12th, 1972, to parents Arthur and Molly. He was born during the Wizarding War and was just nine years old when Voldemort suffered his first defeat, meaning Charlie entered Hogwarts when the Wizarding World was finally at peace. And when he did start his first term at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry in 1984, he was sorted into Gryffindor House like the rest of his family, his brother, parents and late uncles before him, and was in the same year as Hufflepuff Nymphadora Tonks. Charlie had developed a keen interest in magical creatures. He was fascinated by many but none more so than dragons. In his third year, Charlie elected to take the care of magical creatures class since he loved being outdoors. It was around this time that he snuck into the Forbidden Forest, having become convinced that he could catch a dragon in there. Guys, before we start, I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark offer you an incredibly powerful VPN to protect your internet privacy. In today's computer age, hackers are constantly trying to gain access to your bank account details, your social media passwords, and access to your personal information, amongst many other things. This can all be prevented when browsing under Surfshark's protection. Not only does it protect your privacy, it also offers you a lot more. Different countries have different viewing restrictions on what content can be viewed. Therefore, by logging into a VPN base in another country, you can gain access to that content that may be blocked in the country that you live in. For those of you who've always wanted to watch the full eight Harry Potter movies on Netflix, but haven't been able to in your own country, you can simply select Turkey on your Surfshark VPN location and have full access to every single one of them. It's that simple. If you join Surfshark today, you'll get 83% off, three extra months for free. You'll also be able to use Surfshark on as many devices as you like. There's no limits. And finally, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. Basically, if you're not happy, if you're not satisfied, then your money will be returned. It's a no brainer, guys. So sign up to Surfshark right now by clicking the link in the description below. Well aware of the dangerous creatures within, Bill reluctantly accompanied him so his little brother would not have to face such dangers on his own. He would later admit to a classmate of how he had been sneaking into the Forbidden Forest more often than Bill or the teachers actually knew about, where he had met and befriended a centaur by the name of Torvus, though he seldom talked about it because he did not want to come across as bragging in addition to not wanting people to know where he sometimes went off to. By his fifth year, Charlie was appointed as Prefect and eventually became captain of the Gryffindor Quidditch team playing as Seeker, a position in which he greatly excelled. After he left Hogwarts, the Seeker position for the Gryffindor Quidditch team was taken by Harry Potter. Charlie took his apparition test twice. He failed on the first attempt, materialising five miles south of his target on top of an old muggle woman doing her shopping. He passed on the second attempt and his brothers George and Fred made fun of this, but not to his face. After leaving school, Charlie made a big decision and that was to leave his family home and Britain altogether in order to move to Romania to study dragons. At some point, he acquired a new wand. His old wand, however, was passed down to his youngest brother, Ron. It is very unusual for a wizard to change his wand, especially after being paired with it at such a young age. It is possible that due to the Weasley's financial struggles, the wand Charlie originally had couldn't have been a cheaper or a second-hand wand from somewhere other than Ollivander's, and now with him in a position of financial power, Charlie may have decided to purchase a wand that actually chose him. However, many of his peers believed that had he chosen to, he could have played Quidditch professionally and would have been good enough to play for the English national team. During Christmas in 1991, Charlie was visited by his parents and sister Ginny. During the early part of 1992, Charlie received a letter from Ron asking for help in getting rid of a baby dragon Ruby as Hagrid acquired off a man in a pub. 
The dragon, a Norwegian ridgeback named Norbert, was being illegally kept, but Ron, along with his friends Harry Potter and Hermione Granger, did not want their friends to get in trouble. Charlie, who had always got on well with Hagrid because of their shared love of dragons, agreed to help and arranged for some of his friends to pick up Norbert and deliver him to the Dragon Sanctuary in Romania, where he worked. In 1993, Charlie joined the rest of his family for a holiday in Egypt after his father won 700 galleons in the annual Daily Profit Grand Prize Galleon Draw. During the summer of 1994, Charlie returns to the borough to attend the Quidditch World Cup with the rest of his family. He also met Harry Potter for the first time. During the Death Eater disturbance in the aftermath of the Irish victory, Charlie along with his father Bill and Percy assisted the Ministry in attempting to stop it. Charlie stayed at the borough for the summer and accompanied his siblings Harry and Hermione to King's Cross Station to see them off to Hogwarts on September 1st. During the Triwizard Tournament, Charlie assisted in bringing nesting mother dragons to Hogwarts for use in the first task. They were transported over using a sleeping draft and he did not dare tell his mother about them considering that she was still angry about Harry being allowed to compete in the tournament in the first place. He remained on hand during the task in case the dragons got out of hand and congratulated Harry on beating the Hungarian Horntail. He relayed Harry's performance to Bill saying it was incredible. He also attempted to get time off to attend a third task but he was unable to do so. When Albus Dumbledore reformed the Order of the Phoenix to oppose Lord Voldemort, Charlie joined alongside his family. While his brother Bill returned to England to better serve the Order, Charlie remained in Romania and was assigned to recruit foreign wizards to the cause. In the summer of 1997, Charlie once more returned to the borough to serve as best man at Bill's wedding to Fleur Delacour. During a birthday celebration for Harry the day before the wedding, he informed Hagrid that Norbert was doing well and was now called Norberta since they had discovered to Hagrid's surprise that the dragon was actually a female. When the wedding was broken up by Death Eaters in the wake of the fall of the Ministry of Magic, he was questioned alongside his family but was safe. He presumably returned to Romania as both his father and brothers were allowed to return to work. While the rest of the Weasley family answered Neville Longbottom's call to arms to fight at the Battle of Hogwarts, Charlie did not join them immediately, possibly due to being out of the country at the time. During this time, his younger brother Fred was tragically killed during the first half of the battle, something Charlie was initially unaware of. However, he did arrive toward the end of the battle alongside Horace Slughorn, leading hundreds of reinforcements consisting of the residents of Hogsmeade and the friends and family of all the Hogwarts students who had chosen to stay and fight Voldemort and his Death Eater army. Arriving just as Neville slayed Nagini, he led them into battle against Lord Voldemort's Death Eaters, strengthening the weakened defenders of the castle. With the added fighters, the defenders of Hogwarts were able to push Voldemort's army back until only Bellatrix and the Dark Lord himself were the only two left. He also witnessed his mother killing Bellatrix Lestrange and Harry actually defeating Lord Voldemort once and for all. It can be assumed that after the battle ended, he sat with his family and mourned Fred as well as the others that had fallen. Following the war, Charlie did not marry or have children, as he was more interested in studying dragons than forming a romantic attachment. However, he had many nieces and many nephews through all of his living siblings. As of the summer of 2014, he was still unmarried, which prompted the nosy journalist Rita Skeeter to wonder what the reasons behind his prolonged celibacy were. With that being said guys, that is my video on Charlie Weasley. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. It lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. I'll see you soon.